My name is Eva May and I'm seven years old and I'm going to tell you a story about our village. Before you introduce you to our amazing village of home world, it's probably worth finding out where it all began, which was over a thousand years ago. And that was in the village of Heath next door to us. Today Heath is a beautiful sleepy village that many people want to live in. But he began as a small settlement called Blunt and Hef. It wasn't until the late 19th century that Homewood began to grow. And this film is about a very different village to Heath. These maps show how the mining industry led to people moving to work. For many years, Homewood was a single occupation to move to which meant more or less everyone was employed at the local mines. The women stayed at home and looked after the family and then worked long, tiring and difficult jobs. Homewood has changed a lot over the years. Now it is beautiful green countryside with some lime tree on both sides of the village. A few years ago, the village had a cinema, pubs, youth clubs, a wide range of shops, schools and churches, as well as a strong sense of community. Nowadays it is different. People no longer stay around their extended family. They travel around for work. The downside of this means people can get more isolated and lonely as they get older. This film aims to show what Homewood is doing to reduce isolation and loneliness by sharing some of the work that takes place behind the scenes in the village. Along the way, you will get to meet some of the community heroes in our village. One of the greatest features of our village is the beautiful Fire Pitch Trail. It is also a chance to meet Sir Alban's walking group, a group set up to encourage walking, talking and fitness. They are always looking for new members. One of the best places in the village is our youth club. We get the chance to do lots of exciting things from activity days to a weekly youth club. Welcome to Homewood and Heath Healthy Futures Project. The group is a multi-agency partnership brought together by different entities in the village and volunteers to deliver something for everybody in the community. We put on lots of projects, so we have the youth club and the parent toddler group. Um, there's other activities going on in the village like walking football, wheelchair exercise, chair based exercise, many many things. So we work together with and other our organisations to signpost people to them to make sure there is something for everybody in this village. I see what we're delivering and the smiles it puts on people's faces and the good work we're doing, um, I think it's worth doing. I'm Kelly Massey, I am the Health and Wellbeing Development Officer for North East Derbyshire District Council. I think the improvements come from groups like this. I think, um, you know, people such as Angela, what are from the local community and know what the local people want. I think that's a real, a real start. Um, I think there's a disparity of need in the village and we need to address that need, whether or not it be um, the need of older people or the need of younger people to get out and about to prevent socialisation just to give everybody a bit of fun. As you drive through the village you will see a number of care homes. Last Easter we went and met some of the oldest members of Homewood, Nancy and Muriel. Both of them grew up in Homewood and have seen it change a lot over the years. It is hard to imagine the changes they have seen in their lives. My name's Toki Hayward. Living Hope is a charity. We run a charity shop and we support two food banks from their profits. Why are food banks important? Well, I think food banks are very important. 
because no children should be going without food, going to bed hungry or to school without breakfast. And the food bank is there to help when the moms and dads can't do that, when they cannot feed their children due to circumstances that have happened in their lives. It was really interesting to learn about this and understand what a food bank is. This film project has allowed us to work with the Dynamite Club, another youth club which runs on a Friday evening. We got some of them involved and they filmed some parents who shared stories about the village. Dynamite is a youth club in Homewood at Abundant Life. It's for four to twelve year olds and we join every Friday night and um, we have lots of fun. We um, do a few songs, we play games, we have a laugh. We have a massive tuck shop, uh, we have a brilliant team that, uh, that works here and supports all of the young kids and um, you know, it's, a, it's fantastic for any young child to get involved there. So who else works in this village and how can they help people who are feeling isolated and lonely? Let's meet some of our community heroes. Well my name is Carolyn Tadora and I've been the Minister at Heath and Homewood for ooh, about nine years now. Hi, I'm Jessica Neal. I've lived in, within the village for seven years and I've worked with the parish council for two years. My name is Lisa Duffy um, and I am the frontline manager for the service here in Homewood and I run a day centre service for adults with learning disabilities. I am Kathleen Richardson and I am the manager of Homewood Care Home. The Parish Council mainly um, assists residents with issues in, within the village. We have about 25 people a day on average that come into the centre to do different activities and learn different things and develop the skills. I work with groups and um, agencies within the village. When I first came it was very much still a mining community. People had work. I think of late people's works have changed. And so I think people still have a sense of community, but I think some people feel a bit lost. Some of the people we, who come to this centre do live on their own, so if they didn't come here and see us, they would be completely socially isolated. Social isolation can be reduced by encouraging community activities and involved in others in what goes on within the parish. What would be good to have in this village? I think for me personally, being a manager of a care home here, it would be more activities and more events that us in the community, uh, including my residents in the home, can participate. Social isolation is, is a wide-ranging problem. There can be people who are elderly, who live on their own and don't get mixed in with communities. There can be people who don't have a job and find themselves depressed and so stay in the house and don't mix with other people and they feel as though they're just on a downward spiral. I think the more community activities there are available for, for people the better it is and I think there's got to be more of a joined up approach so that organisations like the health teams and the parish council and any other youth groups that there are as well as the church all work together for the better of the people in this community. How has Homewood changed over the years? Well since I've lived here I think it's evolved greatly and I feel the future is very bright. A lot of people spend a lot of their lives feeling as though they don't matter and what's special about what I do is to try and convince people that yes they are special they're special to God and they're special to the people in our church who really do care and are open-minded about all sorts of things sometimes people say our village is a bad place or it is rough but it's like a lot of other villages there is good and bad, but for us, it's our home. It's important. People look beyond the bad to see all the amazing work underneath the surface. Criticising, it makes us feel worthless and undervalued. It is important not to criticise the community to so fully understand how it works. As you drive through our little village, you might not get the second glance. Sometimes it looks a little run down, but once you get under the surface, it is a special place which is doing a huge amount of work with the isolated and lonely members of the community. 
This film is just a snapshot of life living here and we want to say thank you for all those volunteers and staff who were working behind the scenes to make our village better. The important thing we would like to share through this film is to go out and find what your community is doing as there will be something happening for you as our little village shows.